The Lost Property Office has been running for just on 77 years now, and uh, it's quite a long time. So it started back in the 1930s. Uh, we celebrated our 75th anniversary a couple of years ago, which was quite a big occasion. Good afternoon, Lost Property Office. Would you I'm speaking? I'm here help. Okay, can I take your surname, please? We have a headcount of 40 staff, and that's split between three different areas. We have staff who look after specifically the customer, so taking inquiries from the customer and helping to give back the property. We also have staff who specifically look after the property that comes in, managing, storing, collating. And then we have uh, quality assurance and office functionality as well. Um, what items did you lose? How many gigabytes was it, sir? Uh, yeah. 32 GB. And who was your network provider? Okay. Lift going down. All the property that you see here at the moment is uh, is waiting to be returned to owners. So it's within three months. The tags that you see, we have the yellow, um, the white, and then there are some red ones here. They all correspond to where they've been found. So the red ones are lost in a taxi. The yellow ones are lost on the tube and the white ones are lost on the bus. Lift going down. There are some items which become memorabilia though, and there's a few artifacts. And we have, uh, for example, some gas masks back from, from the war days. Gas masks. I think across each decade, there's always one or two items which have been kept as a reminder, especially to the staff, and I, I, I really appreciate this, of the job that they do and the interesting job that they do. So nothing baffles me anymore. We really don't. I mean, just big beef steaks and things like that that have been left for a week and then we get them through the property. I mean, <laughs> throw them, get rid of them. <laughs> As far as some of the items we've restored, I'm not sure, of a gentleman back in the 40s with some false teeth. And uh, he came in and a selection of false teeth was put in front and he said, those were mine. Of course, it's very difficult to you know, validate ownership of a pair of false teeth. Chap went away nice and happy, only to come back about three days later saying, these aren't my false teeth because I can't eat my dinner. Last December. Well, even if we found your glove, we wouldn't have it here anymore because we only keep properties for three months. The reason that we keep items for three months is twofold. Firstly, it's uh, as part of the London Cab Order 1934 and the London Regional Transport Act 1982, which are the two pieces of legislation that guide our process, state that we need to keep the items for at least that period of time. You've got child's toys. You have things which have a bit more sentimental value behind them. And you wonder, you know, for the, for the child it's a great loss. It's, 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 it's a cherished friend. For the parent, it might be something which they can replace next birthday or next Christmas. So there's the difference in values there. But the one thing is that every item that we get into the lost property often is treated exactly the same way. So whether it be a single glove or a laptop computer, it's somebody's property. So we treat it with the same amount of care, it's kept for the same period of time. Once it's, uh, it's gone past its 90 days, then we, we move it on in the best way we can. Oh, 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 o